before we begin the Let's Play, um, there's some things that I want to go over. Firstly, this game was not recorded in 60fps or even in 30fps. My computer is uh, about two years old. It's a, it's a laptop that's about two years old, so we can't handle the games that well, quite frankly. So if that's something that's going to bother you, by all means, go and enjoy a different video. That's fine. I just figured I should let you know now before we get into anything, and you, you know, it's just easier this way. Okay. Secondly, there's a DLC for this game. It is a cosmetic DLC only to support the War Child Charity. The War Child Charity. Um, and the War Child Charity is a, a charity based in the UK. It also has branches in the Netherlands and in Canada. So it's a very good charity that aims to, you know, just help children who may have suffered from, you know, being in a country that was involved in a war. And it's a it's a very good cause and the DLC is like I said strictly cosmetic. It comes in three different tiers. You can donate a dollar, ten dollars, or twenty dollars. Um I think you're allowed to buy them multiple times as well, but I'm not actually sure on that one. But it's only cosmetic. It just straight up cosmetic. 100% of the proceeds will be going to the War Child charity as well. So it's a, you know, it's, it's good. And I'm gonna just read you their excerpt because it's to let you know what it does. So the War Child charity DLC contains unique street art pieces made by artists from all over the world, including a list of artists that I have no idea who who these people are because I'm not a big art guy. But um, artists including M City, Gabriel Specter, Reese. C Creative, Amir Cherimovic, Fox Real, and Mat Matthews Wallace. You'll be able to find all of these cosmetic pieces in different places within this War of Mine, building a unique in-game gallery. The compositions reflect, uh, represent reflections on the human condition and the state of humanity during a time of war, and all of the proceeds go to the War Child Charity. Like I said, this is strictly cosmetic, and it's just a method of, of you know, it's just a method method of getting donations to War Child, and you can donate in the uh, a one dollar, ten dollar, or twenty dollar variable, like I mentioned. And this is uh, for my Let's Play, so you won't actually you won't actually see any of the cosmetic pieces in game because this is this is uh, this is this is after this is after my Let's Play. The DLC came out after my Let's Play, so. But I thought I should mention it. It was worth bringing up, I felt. So, there you go. I just wanted to, real quickly, go over the frame rates and then mention the, uh, you know, the War Child charity and the DLC. That's basically a nice little charity drive. Um, yeah, so thank you for indulging me. And now, back to our regularly scheduled content. Okay, this is this war of mine. Now, this is a uh, a game, well, about war, but it's a different take on war. Rather than being the soldier, you know, being one of the people that are participating directly in the war, you are instead a uh, a civilian, someone who's just there, just trying to survive, just trying to, you know, get through it. And in this, in this case, it seems that the war is actually a civil war, with rebels versus, you know, whatever your country's uh, normal army is, or at least that's what I think it is, because I mean, there are rebels, so. And, uh, let's play. I've never seen, I've never touched this game yet, so this might actually just, I might not even put this first one out. I might have to get, like, acclim acclimated to the game before we can actually do a real let's play of this, but I like this game. In concept, because it seems like it'd be something that uh, people who liked Safe House would be into. This is our apartment. It used to be a good place up until the days. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm gonna go with that. So three people? Is that it? That's all I get? When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. 
It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Kalia met both Pavel... Pavel? Is that, is that an L or is that an I? We'll, we'll go with L. Kalia met both Pavel and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter, while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Kalia even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. I'm gonna guess this is, uh, this is Pavel, because I mean, look, he looks like a football player. He looks more like a cook. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, look, he has glasses. Football players. <laughs> Local teams? Nah, I'm gonna put up with glasses. Also, it's just order of operations. I like order of names. We'd better stay inside during daylight. What? No, that's stupid. Go out at dead daylight. Or, well, I guess that'd be the zombie plan. Okay, so... What am I, um... Yeah, this was Pavel. Can I, like, click on stuff? Slightly sick. Pavel, what, what's wrong, man? Pavel, before this whole mess began, begun, before this whole mess begun, I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they are okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during war? Nobody cares about sports when every day can be their last. So I scavenge the ruins like everyone else. Hoping for the best. Drag for more? I I did hear that uh that updates as the game goes on. Bruno, he's a good cook, but he's also a bit of a smoker. Before the war I used to own a restaurant. I even had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places while I was filming? What the hell? While I was filmed? Oh, while I was... Uh, uh, it makes sense. While I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you even get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. Years, Pavel. Or Bruno. Years. What's your story? Ka oh, wait. It's not Kalia. That's a T, so it's Kat Kat Katia? It's a weird name, I gotta say. Bargaining skills. She drinks coffee. I grew up in this city, but went ahead to study and wait, but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. This is a really weird font. I'd been away for years. When the troubles escalated into a war, I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. Swell. I really don't know how to play, and I don't know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. Well, herbs. You know I'm gonna take those. Various components need to make and just about anything. Nails, duct tape, plus or tear scrap, things like that. Alright. I think I could just... Is there a fast way of taking it? Oh, yeah, there is. And it's this component for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we gotta search our, our starting area. And sort of, like, grab the crap that's, that's just here. No, no, I wanted you on the other side of the door, damn it. There isn't anything in the bathroom. It's currently a uh, pretty pissy place. Why don't you go up there and check that out? What do we find? I have no idea. Okay, well, while she's doing that, why don't we look at Pavel? Have him, like, check some stuff out. Or sit in a chair. Sure. we be opening this door? Don't know. We're gonna do it anyway. I feel ill. I hope it's nothing serious. Ah, just... You'll grow out of it. Whoop. What do we got? What is this? Parts? Okay. I'm reading things because, I, like I said, I've never played, so I have no idea, like, what's what I should be picking up, what I should be doing with stuff, I don't know, you know? This is my blind playthrough. I, so far, 
Did you blink at me, Pavel? Don't ever do that again. That's creepy. Uh, anything that I haven't read? No, because these are all stuff I've read already. We'll man it. I hope we'll manage to keep it warm in here. Should be fine. I mean, it is a little bit. Uh, Bruno, can I have your assistance, please? That. What's this? Oh, it's just components again. And sugar and wood. Yeah, we'll take all of that for now. What do you mean it's locked? I guess this isn't like one of our homes. I guess we just kind of hold up and said what's up. What does an improved workshop do? Make more sophisticated items. More options. Get food and meds. And trade goods. We upgrade food to make uh, 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 Let's not do that right now. What should I make? We can make some household items like beds and chairs, heater, radio. It would be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. Oh. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Alright, well, what's, what's our primary? What do we need first? We don't need that, that's for sure. Um, I think that what we're going to need right away is probably some beds for people to sleep in, obviously. That seems like something that we could do. Oh, drag to place the bed? Well, we have a nice big room right here. But I actually think it'd be best to hide out the beds and all, anything else that we really like, you know, where we're most vulnerable. Probably in the cellar. I don't know how to click on this and like pull it down. Okay, there we go. But you would think it, the cellar would be the best place. Also, it's underground, which means you're safer from shelling. And quite frankly, it's easier to heat underground than it is above ground, so. Pavel, can you break into here, please? Let's see what's up in here. Oh. Uh, can you check that out for me? And what's it look like in here? Raw food? Alright, we'll cook that sometime. Ah, lockpick. That's good. Let's just take all this. Let's roll back up here. Oh, you can go back out. Like, you can scroll out if you need it. That's nice. Not too much of this stuff is interactable. I mean, I guess I should probably interact. But I don't really want to waste my lockpick right now. Because I know there's, like, outside scavenging. So why don't I just save my lockpick for now, yeah? Bruno, where are you going, man? Oh, he wanted to take a seat. You'll probably get some more chairs, too, huh? Uh, where can we head to from here? Head on down. We'll need a lockpick for that back room, and that looks like it might actually be something worthwhile, so... Uh... Why don't you actually come down here and, like, do this? Because I want... I don't know how experiences work and such, but I'm going to be sending Pavel out, most likely, to do any of the searching, since he's a, uh, you know, an athletic guy, from what we can tell. So it seems like it'd be best to send him out for doing some work. And pick this pocket, or pick this lock. Yeah, we're gonna pick a pocket, guys. Woohoo! Yeah, but it seems like he should be the one doing most of this kind of stuff and getting XP for it, I guess. I don't even know if that's a real thing that you're gonna need. I don't know how anything works, but what's this? A book. A good book is uplifting. Right? If we need it, we can also burn it. Alright, Pavel, come on over here. You're slightly sick, but no one else has any problems with them, right? Yeah, okay. 6.30 p.m., 17 degrees Celsius. Alright, well, that's not bad. You, uh... 
Check in there. Hey, Bruno, can you come back down here? Actually, wait, what's this? Oh, that was a food item. I shouldn't have had you do that. Alright, well, now I know. You know, that's important. Oh, it's nighttime. Alright. Alright. Uh, I don't know who needs to be doing what. Why don't you sleep in bed? Why don't you guard? We'll send Pavel out on the scavenging trip. Since he's a fast runner. Uh... The Shelled Cottage. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, huge amounts of weapons, and lots of parts. What about this one? There's some danger there. Danger zone! Huge amounts of materials, weapons, parts. I think we need the food, because I don't have any food right now. Just give Pavel a lockpick. That's really the only thing we have. Send him on out. We don't got much, you know. The house is still burning. Is it safe to go inside? No, no, it's probably not. But we're gonna do it anyway, because it's, you know, other people might be scared. Grab everything. What's the difference between this wood and wood? Maybe you can only stack two at a time. I have no idea. Let's get some more stuff. Wow. Alright, that's quite a bit. I think that right now we need a little bit more materials than we do wood. Uh, but, let's just grab that. You know, that's good. We can always come back if we need to, right? probably rush because something, you know, the house is clearly on fire. It might collapse. We have no idea. Take all the food that we can here. Uh, oh, clean water? Yes. All of it. Alright, let's get out of here. That's good for now. You know, we got a good size of backpack, we got food, we got some water, and we got stuff. I'm not, I don't really feel comfortable moving through this house while it's still on fire, so we'll come back a different night. He did fill his backpack at the very least, so. Now, I hope the game tells you when people are, like, hungry or tired or whatnot, so that you can, you know, deal with it a bit better. Found plenty of really fun stuff. What a night! The night was calm. Splendid. Alrighty. Slightly sick, and he's tired, so... Pavel, why don't you go take a nap? You're hungry. Alright. Go ahead and eat. What are you? You're tired, because you were up all night. Come on down here and let's build them their bed. Gotta be honest, Pavel's my least favorite character out of this group. Because Bruno looks awesome. And Katia has the best story. And also she's a female, so she gets the benefit of all of it. She gets all the benefits. Let's toss another bed down here somewhere. I don't want it that. Can I move it even a little bit? Oh, wait. That room's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it'll be fine there. If we have two beds, that's good, because we will need someone to, you know, obviously watch out for if bad stuff happens. You're still hungry? Gee willikers. It's really hard to, like, read these things, because they're so small. I guess eat another thing, but I mean, we don't have that, like, cooked, so it's not good. Pavel's hungry, but, you know, whatever it is, it matter. You gotta learn how to, like, ration our food, girl. You can't be eating like that. You know, we don't get the kind of supplies anymore. 
the road's gone to shit, don't you know? Hostel's open. All right. Too bad a lot of cigarettes. Sorry, man. Hope we'll manage to keep it warm in here. We should be able to. Why don't you head down here and let's see if we can make that heater right away. I mean, it seems like we don't really need, you know, heat right now. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Let me make a chair, you know? I don't know where our lookout has been hanging out, but it seemed like Bruno was hanging out up here. So why don't we leave him like a chair up here, you know? So that he can take a rest when he needs it. While he's, uh, you know, while he's keeping guard, or while whoever is keeping guard is doing it. Because I think that'd be a good plan. Just sit back, look out the window, watch the door, and the giant hole in our wall. Make sure things are as good as they need to be. Thank you. Now then, can you go up there and lock pick that for me? Actually, we probably shouldn't do that. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're not gonna do that. Because I think I only have one lock pick and I want to save it for the next scavenging trip. At the least, I think I do. Can I have two people do this at the same time? Like, can these guys. Ah, just, uh, just go to sleep, Bruno. Let her do it. You were up all night watching, uh, keeping guard, I mean. Sleepy, sleepy. I wonder what would happen if you went out in the day. I mean, how bad could it really be? I mean, I guess there is a war going on, so it'd probably be a bit bad. What's this? I don't know what that button means up there. Is there a way to, like, change the speed, though, while I'm waiting and I'm not doing anything? Also, there didn't seem to be any tutorials or anything for this game. I'm not even sure if it came with a manual. I'll have to check Steam afterwards for that, but, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Completely no idea. I'm just kind of going off of whatever it's like, really, to think like, yeah, look, uh, I'm going off the little bit I've read about the game, and everything else I'm just going to be winging, so. It's not Zave House, where I had already played a couple of rounds prior. This was com this is completely new to me. Okay, so once she moves all this crap out of the way, we'll be we'll have access to this if we want to, you know, pop it open. And I kind of think we do, even though that would be our only lockpick. But this is a metal container. It's a locked metal container. Like that sort of says to me there might be something really good in there. So. everything out. Why don't we wander over here and just give it a little bit of a pick. Oh, Bruno's back up. What's this? Medications? Oh. Alright, cool. Some more raw food and some more herbs. Apparently the only purpose for, uh, sugar right now is to, um, yeah, can we make smokes for him? Can we, uh, we have herbs. Is that all we need to make smokes? If not, I'm sure there's something else I can do. Maybe. Um, hmm. Damn it, I didn't have a chance to read what he said, but I think he said there's never enough, uh, food, medication, and bandages. Alright, you got a guard, man. We're gonna send Pavel out there again. Can go to a garage. Caution's advised. There's possible trade. Lots of stuff. St. Mary's Church. Well, I think we head back into the shield, uh, shield cottage and try to grab whatever else we can there. Kind of, you know. Get some of that done. I don't think we need to take anything with him. Yeah, an empty backpack means that we can fill it up a little bit more. Yeah. 
Let's go. I'm surprised this is back, but hey. Oh, that's a dead guy. And the place is still on fire. Well, hopefully it doesn't, like, collapse or anything. We're gonna take some of that. Get through the people real fast, because I haven't been here for a while. Looks clean. Let's head in. Is that a rat? Uh, you know what, just grab everything. It's all good. Let's check it here. Let's see what we get. Some more herbs and sugar. I don't want the sugar right now. Oh, it will take the six just so it completes that other stack. But I don't really know how much sugar I need, quite frankly. I'm guessing I can't kill this rat and use it like for food or anything. Okay, what's this? Herbal meds. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. They're better than nothing. And what's this? The medications. Splendid. It's just oh, oh, that was just a rat. It was just a rat. I got spooked. I done got spooked by a rat. What's in here? A bunch more materials. Alright, we'll come back if we need them. Let me take a look out here. Uh, there's a fire in here. I should be a little bit... Oh, it's locked. Uh, I don't have a lockpick, so let's get out of here. Those rats are being noisy. Clearly a dead body out here. I really want to check what he has. I'm not worried about making noise. I mean, I've already been through this whole place. It doesn't seem like anyone's here with me, so... And the subway's currently blocked off. It's not blocked off. Hold on. That one part is. It's actually a very small cellar. Yeah, that's nice. More wood. Whoever lived here, a lot of wood. Alright, I'm gonna head back up and dig this out. Can I have, like, more than one person come out and scavenge? Because if so, I might have another guy. Like, I might have, you know, Bruno or Katia come out with him and, uh, and scavenge with him. So that I can, I can dig this up real fast. I think I'm gonna have to come back here anyway, regardless. Why don't I just... Hmm. I don't know how much time I have left to, like, dig this crap up. I guess I have still a little bit of good time. If it starts... If, if I can't do this in time, we're gonna just grab some more of the materials. Like, some more of the wood and whatever, and carry that out with us. Diggy diggy. Diggy 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 dig. Come on, Pavel. Come on. Get the crap out of the way already. Gotta check this dead guy's body. Let's see what he had before he got killed. You guy. What do you got on you? Coffee. Nice. Cigarettes. Sweet. Alright, we got some stuff from Bruno. Uh, we can just leave out here, I think, right? Bramble is back! From his adventure! Day 3. night was calm. Cool. Uh. Hmm. 
Oh, you can. I was wondering, because it said fast runner, and I'd never seen that one run. But yeah, you can double click and make him run. Alright, Pavel. Head on down and go to sleep. Let's make a. Uh, what is this? Moonshine still? Probably should do that. This looks like something I should be investing in. Now, do I need to put this like on the top floor, like up in the sky, or does it not matter? Like, is, is this really like something that doesn't quite matter where it's at? I don't know. Why don't we put one right here? I mean, you know, that, that seems like a logical positioning. Right? It has a hole there. You can collect water from, you can run a pipe, I don't know. I heard about aggressive groups roaming and wandering around the area. Well, I don't like the sound of that at all, quite frankly. Why is... Wasn't this door locked before? Or did I just never go in there because I'm, you know, stupid? Oh, uh, we don't have lockpicks, so we can't... It won't tell us, like, oh, the door is locked and stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's build a crude stove. Right in the kitchen area. Boink. Clean water. What is that? What does this mean? I mean, like rainwater? That needs to collect. Alright, well, we have one of those. That's gonna hopefully pay off for us. Building a uh, station for food, food making where we can have Bruno head over and deal with. I think we want a radio. Don't listen to the radio. I feel like the radio should actually kind of be up here with this this chair, but maybe up here. You know, like, that way the guy who's on watch can you know, be like, okay, well, I hear that there's a uh, big group coming in, oh man, you know, I'm now prepared. Grab that Bruno cook something for these guys soon. There's a dude who knocked on my door. Hey, how did you know we're here? Show me what you wish to trade. Franco, who the hell are you? You have to show me a lot in exchange. I don't need bandages right now. I would like some canned food. I'll be honest with you, I would really like some canned food. This moonshine. I don't need any of that. None of my people are drunk, surprisingly enough. Scroll around here. Some bullets, eh? Hmm. No, I think we're gonna trade. I, I would love to get these the lock picks and the canned food, quite frankly. That'd be great. What can I give them in return, though? That's the question. What is this? Electric parts. Let's see, we have a lot of sugar. Oh well, he really wants some medications. He needs he needs that. So, can I get something else from you, man? Uh, can you spare those bullets that you have? Swell. Oh, I don't want to give you two of these. No, 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 no. You don't get two, man. Ah, uh, yeah, deal. Need anything else? No thanks. Alright man. Be safe. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for closing my door for me, I guess. <laughs> that was a bit strange. 
Uh, oh, I was, I was supposed to be working on the radio, wasn't I? Or did Bruno, like, give up on that? Was that Bruno's job? Bruno, come over here and cook. Alright, don't take the stairs. You know, if you, want, if you want to be flashy, that's fine. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, I need to make food, uh, consumables. Right? We'll use wool. Wood. Wool. Wool. Yeah, sure. Let me just set up some fuel real fast, and we'll be able to cook some food. Okay. Cooked food. Oh, it takes clean water to cook some of this? That's kind of... Alright, if we get the rainwater, I mean, it'll be fine, but... You listen to radio... You're listening to Radio Point on your veteran launch that our calling. Javon died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. Okay. I don't know how this, like, works. I'm guessing the flashing light means that there's not a station there? Oh no, the flashing light means that you're getting closer to a station. This means there's no station being used there. Desperate ca Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of poor Gu P Pogorian, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. So that was Radio 1. Let me listen to City today a little bit earlier. Is this still Radio 1? Yeah. So is that, all, is that the only channels we get? Oh. Radio by Senna is uh, light beat music, you know, it's just like, hey, we're going to try to raise the morale of the people living in the city, and we're going to accomplish this by just playing a little bit of music. You know, the other stations have the, uh, have the, the news covered, so let's use ours for, uh, try to keep morale up. I like that. So it looks like we have three stations, and that's it. Or is there more art? Let's see. Oh, classical masterpieces. Classical music. For those who want classical... Wait, what was that? I thought it said something else. Oh, what could this be? Weather FM. The upcoming day should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Splendid. Can we get one more station, maybe? No. Everything else is dead on that. Well, I think for my survivor's uh, benefit, let's play some classical music. <laughs> hey, guys. Enjoy the music. Uh, oh, you cooked? Nice. Eat one of these. Tired? Alright, take a nap. Catch it. Uh, come up here and eat the canned food that we bought. That'll be good for you. We'll have uh, Pavel treat himself to that nice warm meal when he wakes up. What's this? Say, these cans are quite nutritious. Well, I'm glad that you feel that way. Walk over here and tell me what this is for me. Oh, okay, so those, those are the uh, homemade beds that we had from earlier. I 
Now, how do we do anything with this? Like, how do we... Oh, some thoughts. Fortunately, our shelter is a place where we can get some respite from war. We have chairs, but we could use an armchair. We have beds, and we sleep. And we sleep in? We have beds and we sleep. Oh, we have beds and we sleep in decent conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they'll have a place to rest. We've made a radio, and we like listening to it. We have a few books. Books. A good book helps forget the horrors of war. Staying here offers slight respite in these hard times. Hard times. Cigarettes consumed per day, three. Coffee consumed per day, one. We've we have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe, and we have to constantly be on guard. Can we? like do something about those can we like lock them up I mean I see these big old holes in the wall and I'm not a big fan of them either <laughs> now we just have classical music playing in the background this is great <laughs> fantastic I might switch it over to the other one though this classical music doesn't really seem all that classical Yeah, so will we, will we need this? I think we would, but we, we're not going to do it now, of course, but I'm mean, just wondering. Um, we need some... We need a few more supplies. We'll head out later, though, for that. Don't have much to do. I'm just kind of wandering around. I mean, you know... The boy is asleep. I guess we could end day. I don't think I have anything else I want to... Oh, I have, I have a bunch of lockpicks, actually, so let's... Maybe get onto that. Uh, well, could you wake up and uh, go eat, please? Don't want you to, you know, starve while you're out there. Oh, well, never mind. You're not getting any food. Sorry about that. Why don't you stay on guard duty? We're going to have these two go out. Danger. Hmm. It's here, inhabited by the homeless since long before the war. The boy has been struggling with the lack of food. We might not survive the recent shortages. It shouldn't be a threat. We could find some of things there. Of course, there's also this. Labor recently got shelled, and many homes are still burning. People or fleeing from the lives of the area. We might find some useful stuff there without meeting anyone. Oh yeah, we're gonna head back to the shelled cottage, and we're just gonna grab the rest of the stuff. Apparently, only one person can uh, can go out on a night, so it's gonna be Pavel again. He can take a lockpick with him. We need to get a weapon of, of some sort here soon, though, because I don't feel comfortable not having one. Quite frankly, house still on fire. My goodness, this place has been burning for three days straight. in here. Check it around a bit. Oh yeah, sugar. You don't really need sugar right now. I mean, uh... Let's go visit this dead guy again. Hey pal. Let me just see what you got in your pockets. Got some books. We'll take them. Fertilizer. We can we, have, we can make a garden? Oh my god. Parts. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. These are all good materials that we don't have much of, so let's take them. Let's go down the steps and see what's up down there. Oh yeah. Because there was something here. Let me see. Oh, it's wood. We do need some wood. Okay, I'm gonna head upstairs. Gotta make sure that that's just the rat, and nothing else. Let me see. Oh, I don't see anything. 
So I'm assuming it was just mostly the rat. We'll look through the lock, the lock door in a second. Four. Yeah. Let's check in this room. Certainly no people in there. Let's take this lock. Hello, rat. It's not here. One of the flyers dropped in the city, it reads, This is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave Porygon immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believed them after the atrocities they had committed. God, so her army is a piece of shit. It's cool. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I don't really want to take any of that unless I, I'm sure that there's nothing better to grab. What's this? Homegrown tobacco? Sure, give me that. Uh, we probably don't need an extra two books. Several of cigarettes. Yeah, we still need cigarettes because Bruno's a really big smoker guy, and well, we don't want him to have to go without his cigs, you know? Help calm him down in dark times. We could try to wean him from them, but uh. Might have some nasty back effects. I don't even know if the game would support that. Like, yeah, we're just, we're just intentionally not going to give Bruno any cigarettes and see what happens. Like, will he get over it? Maybe, but I mean, in real life, you did that. The person would be really, really crabby. Better be a rat. Yeah, Pavel, I wish we had a, we had a shovel too, but we don't, man. We just don't. All we've got are our fingers and our brains, and we've got to make do, man. We've got to make do. I really wish I could have sent, you know, Bruno with him. Because I'm going to just grab a lot more gear. But, eh, whatever. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. I wonder what's gonna be in this metal crate. I don't believe it's only good. I might not even get into it in time. I have to come out here again some other time. And that would just be lame, quite frankly. But maybe there's a mystical, magical weapon hiding in there. Something that would help us greatly. Swell. Let's get into this. Oh no, we need a log pick. Oh, damn it. Alright. Go, Pavel. <laughs> Away! Alright, well, Pavel can't do anything with that. Pavel, we're gonna have you eat and sleep. Note a bit of indulgence. Am I getting too many cigarettes for Bruno? Is that what the game is saying? 